So I've been freaking out over the past six months or so um, because if you're new to my channel, I am closeted as an FTM transgender to most of the public of the world, including my cis friend group that I've had for about three years since being in college. And I've been wanting to, for about the past six months, come out to my best cis friend, Cameron. And I'm very sentimental about people, and I'm especially sentimental about Cameron. I met him uh, my first day of freshman year. We were in the same TT group, which is like, you know, they broke us into um, freshman groups of like 10 or whatever, um, like the first freshman week of college. And I met him first day we were best friends ever since um in the past year or so i've been socially isolating myself from my cis friend group because they were all raised very uh conservatively i've been afraid of what their views of me might be especially cameron because his opinion about me means so much to me and i love him so much so I've been, the past like month or so, I've been actively trying to get him like alone so that I could come out and tell him what's been going on with me and why I've been so mysterious the past year plus. So the past like five or six times, I've like been planning on like, okay, tonight is the night I am going to come out to him. There's been like other people at his house or like, me and him go to dinner, but then he invites like five other people, and I didn't know that he was gonna do that. And tonight, we were gonna go see The Jungle Book, and he was like, yeah, do you want me to post in the group text to see if a bunch of other people wanna go? And I was like, uh. Normally I would be like, oh, whatever you want. But I was like, no, tonight is the night. Let's just hang out you and me, bro. Let's, you know, I, we haven't done that in a while. So we went to go see The Jungle Book. It was fun. It was a great movie. Totally recommend. Um, but afterwards, we were driving to go to a bar afterwards. And so we were driving from the movie theater to the bar. And he was just kind of like asking, you know, general questions, catching up about life. And somehow it came up like, so yeah, you know, Cameron, I, me, have been like, you know, really depressed and like suicidal over the past year, as you may or may not have noticed. And you may have noticed that I've been dressing a lot more masculinely over the past year. And I've been wanting to tell you this for quite some time now. But so I've been basically having a gender identity crisis for the past year. And I've been to four therapists in the past year. And the past two therapists I've been to have diagnosed me with gender dysphoria. So I explained what gender dysphoria was, and I explained that, yeah, so I'm transgender, and my situation right now is, you know, am I gonna come out? When am I gonna come out? Or am I gonna live the rest of my life as a girl and see how that goes? And, like, I couldn't believe, like, the words that were flowing out of my mouth when I was telling him this, because, like, oh, it was just, like, such a horror film, like, in my mind, because he's grew up in a very conservative Christian household. In the past, he has expressed like anti-gay marriage views to me as a lot of my um, cis friend group has here at my conservative Christian small college. He was super cool about it. He's like, okay, well, um, just so you know, like I'm really ignorant to these issues, but I'm like totally supportive. Do you mind if I ask like just some questions? Like knowing that I'm like super ignorant. And I'm like, yeah, of course, like, I'm totally open to you asking absolutely anything. Like, that makes me feel good. It makes me feel like you support me, like you're interested in me. Like, that would be great. And so he was basically, he only asked a few. We were only driving in the car for, like, about, like, five to ten minutes. And he was like, so, like, when did you start questioning your gender? Like, how? And, like, have you felt this way your whole life? And are you happier now? That was really cool, especially, like, are you happier now? Because I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm on the beginning of an upswing. And I've been really depressed and kind of suicidal the past, like, year. And just been struggling with this issue. I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm leaning in the direction of, like, I only have this one life to live. 
I'm gonna do it probably the way that feels best to me and that I've always wanted. You know, I'm not gonna pretend and be fake. That's not what I want to do at this point in time. So I told him, yeah, like dressing more masculinely and, you know, like slowly coming out to people like one by one has made me a lot happier. And he's like, that's great. You know, like I'm going to support you no matter what you know that I'm always going to love you. We're friends like forever. You know, it was really cool. And then we like basically went to the bar and then just changed subjects and then didn't really talk about it the rest of the night. Um, but then I drove home and he's like, okay, yeah, text me when you're home. And so I texted him and I'm like, hey, got home, like, thanks again for a great night, had a great time, um, and also thanks for, like, listening to me and being supportive, like, and cool about my life crisis. And again, you're always welcome to ask questions about anything, especially over the next few months as things might be progressing with what I'm dealing with. You're my favorite, smiley face. And I sent it off. Haven't heard back from him, but um, that was just a few minutes ago. So, I don't know, it feels just like such a great step. Cameron, my best cis friend that I've had for three years and I'm just so sentimental about him just because like, you know, he was my first friend in college and um, I just, I love him so much. Um, he's one of my best friends that I've ever had. And it's really hurt me the past year because I've been socially isolating myself because I've been depressed and afraid of what my friends are going to think of me. And while I've been hiding in my room being socially isolated, he's been going off and making this whole other group of friends. And that's made me really sad this year because it's like he's been moving on without me. I don't know, I'm really hoping that I made this initial like icebreaker tonight and I feel like that's a really good step. I don't know if that was my first experience coming out to one of my cis friends and yeah, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you've had any recent or past experiences coming out to your friends or if you're planning on coming out to your friends anytime soon, let me know down below and yeah. Alright, peace out guys. So I just got back from gender therapy and I haven't talked about this therapist yet on this channel. He's literally the best therapist in the world.